What is up guys? In today's video, I'm solving a problem of mine. So as you can see here, we have some wood, okay? And for example, when we needed to split this wood, we would do some kind of maneuver like this. All I had was this tiny little tomahawk hatchet, I don't know. And then to split it, I literally just sat here and do it in them numbers. Now I was getting it done, but a piece this big was honestly too big. That brings us on to our next point. I needed something to, you know, solve the problem. So I was like, what could I get? I could split wood. I was like, oh yeah, it's an ax. So I went on Amazon, looked at the axes. Now there was axes on there everywhere from like $20 up to like $80 for what looked like a pretty good ax. You could tell which ones were quality and which one wasn't. And the one I got here was $20. But it kind of looked like it was a little bit quality, or at least it looked like it. I'm just saying, $20 Amazon axe, well, you, you don't know what you're getting. It's supposed to be a cold steel, which is a pretty reputable brand. That's why I think it's supposed to be a good one. So on this side, it says cold steel, Taiwan steel. But on this side, it says American Tomahawk Company. And on this side, it says Taiwan. On this side, it said American. I don't understand what I bought here. But what I do know that I bought is supposedly a splitting axe, which is what I needed this to be. I need this to split wood. It uh, has a pretty big head on it. I can probably smash something with the back of that. Pretty good overall. I mean, it's called a trail boss. First things first, let's go ahead and get this back. Let's use that as the wedge. Let's see what we can do. I feel like it should be easier than that. We're gonna lose that one's handle. I think that one's done for, unfortunately. Let's see what we can do. Let's just crack down on that one and see if we can split it. All right, let's see what we can do. My objective is just to split it, nothing special. By the way, I am like a first time ax user. So, I just wanna put that out there. but I did just split a block of wood. Now come check this out, you tell me. Is the wood too green to be splitting? I don't think so, there's a chance. <clears throat> Get this axe, let's put it to use, you know what I mean? Oh, that ain't what I was wanting. Put it up here on the chopping block, son. <laughs> now you may be asking, or you may not. Kendall, why are you trying to split wood? Well, it's to burn it. And we're gonna be doing that here in a minute, so stay tuned. But the biggest thing, honestly, is to get pieces like this to be smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller because you can't really throw just a big piece of wood in a fire and hope it to start up. You need something small to start, at least. <laughs> so I almost totally missed, which is okay. <laughs> okay, we're getting close. We ain't doing too bad. Let me go big lumberjack one time. I missed. I'm gonna stand back here in case one of them pieces of wood just go yeet. I'm not necessarily splitting it the best. <laughs> that one did. Yeah, that one did all right. I'm still getting used to it, so. That's what I need right there. I just need to split it into tinier pieces than it is right now. It's not really a heavy ax either, so I mean. Give it all you got. I'm not good with accuracy yet. I'm just getting started. Let me see, boom, boom, boom. I mean, I was off a little bit, but it's not bad. I'm off. I'm so close. I told you guys at the beginning, I'm not a lumberjack. And I really don't pretend to be. You know, that's why they invented chainsaws. Yeah, it's also why they invented a wood splitter. Missed it completely. Kanye don't like it. Uh -uh. Let you whirl it one time. See what you can do with it. It don't weigh nothing. Uh, that's probably why it's only twenty bucks. I think I probably bought the wrong one. See what you can do with it. I was thinking for pieces like that, that's probably about a perfect axe. We rarely cut something very big. Anytime we're ever trying to cut something, 
We're just trying to cut that in half or something. And whenever you get something small like that, it's all about accuracy. And I don't know if we have it. See, you're doing good with it. We just need a bunch of little pieces like that. I feel like that's what an axe like that's actually good for. I need a bigger log to chop through. You want to try? Try this one. See. That one's a little bit better or bigger. Uh, it's a pine, so it is a little softer. So, watch this. Hit it one time. See what you can do. You're doing pretty good. How are you that accurate, though? I don't know. You're actually hitting them in the middle. I tell you what we need to do. We need to figure out how to get that out of there. We got one handle. Keep going. See how many pieces you can get it. I'm going to try that big one. Grab it. You're going to try a big one? Yeah. You think an axe like that can cut that? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll see. You hit them on the edge. In the edge? Yeah. Okay. Dude, you just split that. Well, what about you being a big lumberjack one time? You go hit him on the edge. Let me try that. What do you mean the edge? Like the edge up here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see right here. I'm a lumberjack, dude. Forget you two. I'm doing this. Told you what I tell you. Look at look at us. This is also pine. Pine's pretty soft. Now, if I can get something like this into tiny, tiny, tiny pieces, I'm doing something. Look at that, barely touched it, barely touched it. I can do this all day. Easy, dude, easy. Watch this, watch this, one-handed. Tell you what, that pine's got that wet stuff in it. I don't know what you call that, maybe pine sap, just a guess. We're gonna start us up a fire right here. In celebration that we bought the $20 Amazon Axe. Let's grab the lighter, let's see if we can start us up a little force fire. All right, let's see what we got. I'm gonna get all these tiny pieces that we shredded off. See if we can light up. This one's definitely the thinnest. There we go. Here we go with the one like paper. Let's just see if it lights like paper. It might, it might not. Yeah, it ain't. Grab us a paper towel. We'll get this light up, dude. See, we just do this real nice TP effect. Take us a little paper towel, roll it up. Check it out. Stick it right under there just like that. Watch it, it'll take off. We ain't that bad at building fires. Got bad news, man. I don't think this is gonna burn. I thought you said the wet stuff would burn. I think I may have been wrong. Well, man, we tried. I'm gonna keep chopping. Maybe this ax is like built for maybe smaller stuff because it's not heavy at all. But for something like that, I mean, it's tearing through it pretty easy and it's pretty maneuverable. And that's kind of the important thing. We're doing pretty good right here. We're doing actually really good, I think. Little pieces like this are generally what you want to start it, but maybe this wood just happens to be wet somehow. Maybe the sap on the inside's the wrong kind. I don't know, man. I'm not a fire expert, but I did buy a $20 axe on Amazon. This is pine. I think that's the biggest factor in this. This is pine, and it's really easy. Don't worry about the weird smell. It may or may not be gas, but it'll burn. She's burning. I think her problem is with this, dude. Our wood's wet somehow. What happens if we get wood that's actually dry? Let's go to the chopping block and let's get started. All right, one solid chop right down the middle. Dang, son. Are you kidding me? That thing makes me look good. All right, there's one piece. Here's the rest of it. No, that ain't fair. The wind can't blow whenever I'm trying to chop it. This is the one, dude. We're gonna start a fire with this. Yeah, we got it right here. I think we got the dub. Little stuff like this, I think this ax is very good. It's the cold steel ax. It's all I know about it. Cause it is cheap. It's all I needed to know. I said, hey, I need an ax. I don't wanna spend a lot of money for it. Boom. We got an axe. I mean, for a feller like me, if I had an $80 axe, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. I wouldn't spend $80 for an axe. Like I was saying at the beginning, I'm not an axe expert, I'm not a lumberjack, but I can say that I'm pretty pleased with my $20. Compared to the $80 options, I don't know what the difference would have been. Chuck Norris buys an axe. Three trees fall, then he swings the axe. I'm pretty happy with this. Is this gonna change my fire game forever? No. No, I've never been good at making fires, and as you can tell, I probably won't be. The principles aren't that hard, but until you start getting down to it, then it starts getting hard. I think they should teach people how to build a fire in school. They're going to get some of us out there camping, and we ain't going to know what to do. We're going to freeze to death. And I mean, I feel like I know how to start a fire, but like, obviously I don't because I can't do it. Now, if I can't start this fire right here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. 
I'm building it to where there should be plenty of airflow underneath. There is small pieces. Maybe not the smallest pieces in the world, but they should be small enough to get burning. It's super dry wood, super dry. Maybe I'll take this one out to increase airflow. You know, we'll just see what we can come up with. Maybe I'll lay this over top and this over top that. And Man, if I can't get a fire, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I try. There's no air messing it up. We have a few holes in it, but no way we're that bad. Building fire. This is like really sad. Unless it's burning, I can't tell. If that can't start the fire right there, that's like a perfect fire setup. It should burn right underneath it. Plenty of airflow. Really dry wood. A lot of surface area, in my opinion. We should get something to burn right there. And if not, dang, I tried. Right now we got a lot of smoke, not a lot of fire. Let's just leave it for like a minute. See what happens. Maybe something crazy will happen. I essentially have a wedge now. I handle this whip. Now I have a handled web again. I have a suggestion. What? Hit the other side with the axe. Check this out. Oh, that's good, that's good. Is this enough to get it out? No, it ain't. Oh my gosh. That was on target though. That's it. Oh, oh! Yes, I got it out! We may have to do a little repair, but hey. That's what I'm talking about. I may just get a wood splitter, man. I will say, this wood's a lot harder than pine. I don't think that's a secret, but. I don't know if my techniques right. Comment below. I know you didn't click on the video to teach a kid how to sling an axe, but feel free. I feel like if it was chopping right here, I'd be fine. Let's see how our fire is doing. You see that? That's a piece of wood on fire. That is a success if I've ever seen one. I'm gonna tell it to you straight and simple. $20 Amazon axe. I'm really happy with it. If you need a cheap axe, hey man, maybe that's the way to go. Me, without anything to compare it to, I think this is a great axe. All right guys, I know this is a splitting axe, or at least that's what it's supposed to be on Amazon, but I'm gonna try to chop with it. If I can get the polar bear off of me. Watch out, buddy. Hey, watch out. I'm chopping an axe. All right, ready? Yep. way to cut down a tree. Steve, you better watch back. Steve. That's not a big tree, but you know. It's a tree. It's an honest day's work. About ready to go take a nap now. I'm gonna whack it into this tree one time. It's an Alanthanthanthus tree. And so, I'll be honest, I'm not a really, I don't, Anyway, I'm gonna lay this axe into it one time. I'm just gonna see what happens. Absolutely nothing. We tested out the $15 Amazon hatchet in this video and uh, it was rough. 